Mr Deputy President, our aviation industry is in chaos. We know that our residents and workers have been paying the price for the actions of Qantas Management and other air services companies. There has been a race to the bottom in the airline industry, led by Qantas Management, where working conditions are becoming increasingly worse, which is also impacting our residents who cannot access reliable services. The decision of Qantas Management to illegally outsource jobs during the middle of the pandemic has resulted in poorer working conditions across the industry. After Qantas illegally terminated its loyal workers, Donata obtained low-cost contracts for certain groundwork. Donata ground crew, who are within the supply chain of Qantas, are being chronically overworked and rosters are acutely understaffed. Donata has been attempting to cut the pay of experienced workers, which would drive them to below legal award conditions. Donata has failed to invest in full-time permanent jobs, refused to lift standards, and has also rejected the efforts by workers to increase part-time hours, which only places further pressure on the understaffed <coughs> workforce. <clears throat> Disgracefully, Donata unsuccessfully attempted to fill rosters by attempting to bring in overseas workers from Manila. I support the Transport Workers Union in calling out the disgraceful actions of Donata and Qantas. The wages and conditions of aviation workers should not be going backwards. Donata workers did not receive JobKeeper and acted extremely reasonably in deferring bargaining during the pandemic. Donata workers are now being forced to consider industrial action as a last resort as they are wanting fair pay and job security. An application by the TWU to the Fair Work Commission was approved last week to hold a protected action ballot. The chaos that so many of our residents have experienced, the cancellations, the lost luggage and the safety incidents at airports is only going to worsen with the recent actions of Donata and Qantas. It is absolutely disgraceful that Donata issued a recent staff memo that informed workers not to use the term under the pump when things go wrong. The memo was in regards to safety issues with aircraft and equipment damage. Qantas bears a great deal of responsibility for Donata's cost-cutting measures and contracting pressures as they exert financial control over the third-party labour hire companies who are trying to keep Qantas contracts. Qantas management is actively driving down standards, wages and conditions in the industry. Since Qantas outsourced their groundwork, there has been an increase in safety incidences, such as locking pins left in landing gear, belt loaders crashing into planes, and prior to takeoff, incorrect weight information has been provided to pilots. Just this week, we are seeing Qantas management make even more outrageous decisions. Management has sent out a request to head off a staff, get this, asking for managers and executives to undertake a short-term arrangement where they would swap their typical office work for baggage handling and customer service work. Working on very busy tarmacs and undertaking baggage handling duties requires a high level of skill. We know that serious safety incidents and injuries can occur when inexperienced individuals without the right training undertake this type of work. <clears throat> it is extremely concerning for safety and we know that having inexperienced workers will only worsen the airport chaos. Dropping executives into these jobs once again demonstrates to our residents that Alan Joyce should not be managing Qantas. The decision-making is absolutely appalling. Qantas is now reported to be Australia's worst performing airline. Our residents and workers should not have to endure the chaos that has been caused by the actions of Qantas management. The corporate greed needs to come to an end in the aviation industry. Workers deserve good conditions and secure jobs.